two years later I'm picked up again and I won't go through all the details uh, but this time I'm given sleep deprivation with a team of six it turns out two are on for 40-50 minutes banging, shouting, making a noise then total silence then bang, 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 a noise, and then total silence. And they leave, and another two come in, and it goes on through the afternoon, through the night. I'm given something to eat, and I detect with my cross examiner's intuitions, if you like, from my days in court, there's a kind of a smirk on their face, and um, I'm fairly sure there was something in the, in the food. Overwhelming feeling of fatigue in my body is fighting my mind and my will. And eventually, in the early hours of the morning, I collapse onto the floor. And their feet around me, black shoes, white shoes, water is poured onto me. I'm lifted up. Uh, a very famous interrogator named Swanepoel, S-W-A-N-E, P-O-E-L, Swanepoel, is in charge. And he lifts me up and he's got thick, heavy fingers and he prizes my eyes open, puts me back on the chair, I topple down again. It happens a few times. And eventually I'm sitting there and I know I'm breaking down. And I try and control my breakdown. <laughs> 